Hey guys, Brian with Workshop Addict and we are going to do a subscriber request. We are putting the Metabo HPT Recip saw up against the Milwaukee Super Sawzall. And for all of you guys who said, hey, why is the FlexVolt Recip saw not up against the Super Sawzall? We are gonna show you why, so stay tuned. So let's go over some of the testing parameters that we have here. The DeWalt FlexVolt is the only recip saw here without orbital action. So we will not be using it up against the Milwaukee or the Metabo HPT with orbital action. Simply not fair. The DeWalt FlexVolt is at a disadvantage with an inch and an eighth stroke length, while the Milwaukee Super Sawzall and the Metabo HPT both have an inch and a quarter. All these are basically zero to 3,000 strokes per minute. We will not be using weights because first, if you don't trust me to do this and you think I'm putting more pressure on something, you might as well click off the video now. That's not my gig. I wanna cut this similar to like you would when you're in the field and the wood that we're using is not all even anyway. So one could find a small piece of knot or a harder piece in the wood with weights and still come up with the wrong conclusion. So you gotta look at some of this stuff in this testing as this is about how it's gonna work. There are no scientific real answers in any of this because there's deficiencies and differences in all this stuff, right? This Sawzall might be a little more powerful than the average one, just the way it came off of the assembly line, blah, blah, blah. So this is for fun, but it's gonna give us some real good answers on what's what. So let's get to cutting. All right, first up, we're just doing straight cuts through a four by six. We have all new Milwaukee Axe blades on here. The DeWalt Flex Volt with the nine amp hour battery that it comes with, fully charged. Let's give her a rip. That was just straight. All of them feel fairly normal. Let's go back and switch up to straight with the DeWalt and then we'll just time the oscillating with the other two just to show you the difference. This really isn't going to be a test for the flex volt. We're just going to look for average time here. Oscillating mode on the Metabo HPT. I think I could have went a little faster with the saw. So I can't see times here, you guys probably can. They all felt fairly similar, uh, but obviously the oscillation mode helps out the Milwaukee and the Metabo. All right, I got the Metabo HPT with the oscillation mode on. We're gonna cut the six by six twice, kind of get an average of times, see how this goes.
as we said, this wood is going to give us deviations. There is a prime example. Let's go one more time. Put the Milwaukee through the same thing. getting less of that hard spot, so I would assume the Milwaukee is gonna be faster here. See if the other end of this wood has uh, any more consistency to it. Still in oscillation mode. Let's try this end, see if we get a different result. You can hear it when I get past that heart. Well, I had no clue that that wood would have been that inconsistent. So it'll be interesting to see what the times are. You guys already know I don't. Uh, it's gonna take me going through the video. I'll put my phone up in a corner and you can kind of watch as it goes through. Feeling wise, it was interesting because the Metabo HPT felt like it had the slowest strokes per minute but it was also probably one of the more comfortable saws to use. Uh, the, the way I had the board, the little crease here in my hand was hurting pretty bad at the end. Just from those few cuts and from the vibrations that you're getting from these saws. They're big, they're powerful. I mean, the Milwaukee Super Sawzall is a beast. And there's no doubt that uh, the Metabo HBT and the Milwaukee Super Sawzall are top of the line for what you're getting. Are there some other great ones out there? Yes but these two are really performing well. Now I would like to bring out the battery pack or the battery adapter so I could plug the Metabo HPT into the wall, but we proved time and time again in some of our older videos that that simply doesn't make that much of a difference. If anything, sometimes we get a little more power what we feel out of the battery, but we were, again, way outside. It just didn't make a whole lot of sense. The flex volt, it's not a bad saw. It just needs orbital. I like it. I like what it does. I like the feeling of it. I like just about everything about it. It just needs to be stepped up a little bit with orbital and with an adjustable shoe. And I guess with a rafter hook, the other saws here just plain and simple have it beat out for the amount of features that you get. 
So when you're looking at these, tell me what you're going to pick. You're not going to pick based off of speed or power on this. Are you looking at battery life? Are you looking at battery lines? Are you looking at warranty? Uh, Metabo HPT's got the best warranty that there are here. If they're going to stand up to that lifetime tool warranty and then the battery warranty, Milwaukee doesn't have a real shabby warranty either, and neither does DeWalt. Everyone's got their horror stories. That's what's cool. Let's hear the good, the bad, and the ugly below. Have some discussions about this. I know this isn't definitive, guys. This is just something that you guys asked for, wanted to bring it out. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Give me a like in that video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for your time. Have a great day.